Hello, today we're going to learn about area. Let's learn geometry. What is area? Area is the size of a surface. Area can be defined as the space occupied by a flat shape or the surface of an object. Area is measured in square units, such as square centimeters, square feet, square inches, etc. Let's work together to find the areas of different 2D shapes. We're going to learn about squares, rectangles, parallelograms, triangles, and trapezoids. We can find the area and the circumference of a circle, but that's a bit more complicated. That video will be linked in the description box. So now we're looking at a square. We know that one side of the square is equal to three inches. Since all of the sides of the square are equal, we know that all of the sides of the square are equal to three inches. To find the area of a square, we need to multiply together the sides. If you know how to find the area of a square, you can pretty much find the area of pretty much every other shape. So, the sides both equal three inches, so we need to multiply. So we do three inches times three inches, it's equal to 9 inches. And like I said before, we use square units, so we say 9 inches squared. That is our answer, 9 inches squared. Remember how I said that area is measured by inches squared? Well, this is because each inch inside of the square forms a grid. This square is 4 by 4 inches. Look at the grid formed. Those are the square inches. Now let's look at a rectangle. To find the area, we do the length multiplied by the height. So if the length is 10 inches and the height is 6 inches, the area of the rectangle is 6 multiplied by 10 is equal 60, so 60 square inches. Finding the area of a parallelogram may seem daunting but because of the diagonal, but I promise it's not. Remember how to find the area of a rectangle? Well, it's the same. See the red line? The red line, that is the height of the parallelogram. So the variable h is the height. If you notice the h right next to the red line. Also, notice the variable b. That is the base. A rectangle has a base and a height as well. But we use the words length and width instead. For a rectangle, base times height and length times width are interchangeable. But for a parallelogram, Keep with the terms base and height to make sure you have less confusion. We use base and height because it is easier to remember that you are not using this side length right here to multiply to find area. Okay, so let's solve the problem. We need to multiply the base and the height. The height is equal to 7 centimeters and the base is equal to 8 centimeters. 7 multiplied by 8 is 56. So our answer is 56 square centimeters. Now we're going to look at the area of a triangle. Like a parallelogram, we will use the terms base and height. Remember to not use the measure of the side length. Only the height, the red line, to find the area. Okay, so since this is a triangle, we will use the same idea of multiplying the base and the height. But this time, because a triangle is half of a rectangle, we will multiply it by one half. So our formula is one half times base times height. So we see one half times 10 times seven is equal to 35 because 10 times seven is equal to 70 and half of 70 is 35. This method, multiplying the base and the height like a rectangle and then dividing it by two is the method that everyone uses to find the area of a rectangle. I'm sorry, of a triangle. All right, so this one's a bit more tricky. We're gonna look at a trapezoid now. The formula is area is equal to base one plus base two a and b divided by two times h. It may look tricky, but I promise it's not that bad. Variables a and b are the bases. Let's find the bases. So the bases are up here and down here. 
The two parallel lines are the bases. Um, the h, like before, is the height. Now we know all of the variables. Let's solve. So if a is equal to 5, which is the first one first base, and b is equal to 7, which is the second base, and h is equal to 9, we set it up like this. We put 5 plus 7 divided by 2 times 9. So then we do, we find 5 plus 7 is 12, right? Divided by 2 times 9. So we have 12 divided by 2 is 6 times 9 is 54. The answer is 54 square miles. Okay, let's do another one. Alright, so the formula is area is equal to base 1 plus base 2, A and B, divided by 2 times H. Remember that variables A and B are the bases. Remember, let's find the bases again. The two parallel sides are the bases. And of course, H is height. Let's look at another example. A is equal to 9, the first base. B is equal to 11, the second base. And H is equal to 15, the height. 9 plus 11 divided by 2 times 15. 20 divided by 2 times 15. 10 times 15 equals 150. The answer is 150 square miles. There are a few mistakes that can be made. Watch out. Make sure that the units are the same. Make sure that they are both in if it inches or whatever unit you're using. If not, you have to convert them. Also, make sure you can find the key part of the shape. We talked a lot about not using the side length, but to use the height in many shapes. Those were the shapes that we learned today. Circles will come out soon. Check out our other videos for more help. Thanks for watching.